Well, hello to everybody, everywhere. I'm gonna go through some uh, system monitoring software I use, and then quickly cover uh, system uh, stability test that I use and a couple alternatives. So, a few things that three things that I'd recommend for every you every computer user, or two things. One is a temperature monitor. I like to use real temp myself. There's also another one called core temp. They're both uh, equally good programs. They're, they're perfectly fine. They give you the name of your CPU and pretty much the uh, you know the high and low since you last reset it and the temperature of each core so every computer user really should know the temperature of your CPU just in case uh, your fan goes out or you're having stability problems and you don't know why it could be because of heat and then one more thing I'd recommend for every computer user is CPU-Z gives you all the information about your CPU for the casual computer user um, or the overclocker alike. The cache information, your motherboard information, what BIOS you're running, how old the BIOS is, your memory, how much of it, what it's running at, all the, the CAS, RAS, cycle time, your timings, in other words, the speed and uh, also it has a graphics tab so a temperature monitor and CPU Z really should be used by almost every home computer user in my opinion they're great programs highly recommended another great program is hardware monitor HW monitor this monitors your voltages, your temperatures of not only your CPU, but other sensors that you may have on your uh, uh, ITE chip, for example. Fan speeds, temperatures of all your cores on your CPU, the wattage that your CPU is using, the GPU temperature, hard drive temperatures. So very, very useful program. Uh, to see if there's any problems. Uh, highly recommend that program as well. Uh, another one for some people, if you have, happen to have a high-end video card, or even if you don't have a high-end video card and you want to see the information about it, Tech Power Up GPU-Z is great it gives you more information than you could possibly ever even use most likely also sensor information on your uh, video card for just about everything and also uh, a validation tab in case you want to overclock your uh, video card and get it validated so that's pretty useful as well so that covers the uh, system monitoring end of things. There are tons of programs out there. This is just what I use personally. Everest is another good one that has all this stuff and lots more. It's a good program. It's not a free program, but it's a good program. And then as far as uh, system stability goes, and this is mainly for overclockers, but even if you're not overclocking, you could uh, go ahead and run this. And that's Prime 95. Uh, where you would get Prime 95 is mersenne.org. And what they do is they look for these odd Mersenne Prime numbers. And uh, they will ask you to hook onto their server and let them have your data that you that you create 
by doing this. You don't need to do that. You can. There's nothing wrong with it. It's uh, completely safe and everything's fine. There might even be cash rewards if you happen to come across one. So, but what you need to do is specify right here in step two, Windows 32-bit, Mac, Linux, Windows 64-bit, or Linux 64-bit. This will come in a zip file. Almost all these programs will come in a zip file, and you'll need to extract them to, to a directory, create a shortcut, and run them from there, or create a shortcut and put them in, say, an apps folder like I have on my desktop. So anyway, uh, Prime 95, when you go ahead and start it, uh, it will give you a number of options you can run. You can do a custom test as well. I normally use a blend. It just tests some of everything, lots of RAM, but it, it maxes out your CPU. And it maxes out your CPU in, uh, in a good way. Uh, what it does is it maxes out all the cores, but also all the virtual cores. So some of these new CPUs that are coming out, you know, my Core i7-860 is a four core, quad core, but it has eight virtual cores. So it will have a worker for each one of those virtual cores and max it out. And each core is actually, is actually working to find, to test a number to see if it is uh, one of these Mersenne prime numbers. When you get done, it'll tell you if you found one. It'll also tell you how long it ran, if you got any errors, and if you got any warnings. So it'll tell you if your system is stable or not. So it's a very, very useful um, system stability test, especially for overclockers, but if you'd like to run it anyway, just make sure and monitor your temperature because you don't want to screw you up your CPU because you don't have uh, good enough cooling having it maxed out. People run this for days, hours, days. Some people may even run it for a week or more. So anyway, that's kind of a little uh, look at how I monitor my system and how I test the stability of my system and my overclocks and uh, hopefully that helps you out. You can just, uh, one thing of note, you can just uh, store all these in a, all these shortcuts to all these programs in one single uh, apps folder like I have and you won't clutter up your desktop. So anyway, that's it, guys, and uh, everybody have a great day, and we'll be talking real soon.